I'm going to talk you through the three basic oil painting rules. Those three basic rules being fat over lean, thick over thin, and slow drying over fast. These rules need to be followed when you're executing any oil painting, particularly when you're building it up in layers, otherwise you can cause yourself all kinds of problems. So the first rule to look at is fat over lean. This means when you're painting an oil painting in many layers, you need to make each subsequent layer fatter than the previous layer, the previous layer being leaner. This is achieved by using solvents in your lower layers and oils, predominantly linseed oil, in your upper layers. So as you build up your painting, start the lower layers using solvents to thin your paint and then use less and less solvent and then start to introduce oil and introduce more and more oil as you build up through each subsequent layer. If you'd like to have a look at this painting down here, it's a good example of what happens when that rule isn't adhered to. So in this painting, the artist has constructed a background using alizarin crimson and a lemon yellow, and they've used a lot of oil in this, so it's quite a fat layer, and they've used the oil to get it to blend and give this gloss and this flow. They've then gone over the top with some detail here in Mars Black and used a bit of solvent to thin that down to get a flatter finish. But because it's actually gone completely against fat over lean, that is to say here you have a lean layer on top of a fat layer, as you can see this, this lean layer has indeed cracked. And this is because this top layer has dried quicker, has in fact almost dried, and the under layer is still drying. So as the underlayer is still drying, it goes through some dimensional changes, causing the dry top layer to actually crack. You can see it's, it's crazed all over the place here. It's, it's very unsatisfying. The next rule to look at is thick over thin. This means as you build up your layers, you need to ensure that you never paint a very thin layer over a very thick layer. If you were to paint a very thin layer over a thick layer, as I say, what in fact happens is this thin layer being thinner will dry quicker than the layer underneath being thicker. And as the thicker layer underneath dries, it will go through some dimensional changes causing the very thin layer, the very thin dry layer on top to crack and in some cases even fall off. A good example of that is on here. I'd like to show you here where the artist has painted a very thin layer over certain thick areas here. You see this thin red here over a thick layer of green here and also here. You can see that the red has indeed cracked because what has happened is that thin layer of red has dried, the thick layer of green underneath was still drying and has gone through dimensional changes causing the thin dry red layer to crack. Okay, so the final rule is slow drying over fast. Again, this is about not creating a dry top layer under a substrate that is still drying. This could be shown really well here on this canvas where it's been primed with safflower white and linseed white on this half. Now, linseed is a lot quicker drying than safflower. Now, um, in fact, the top layers of colour here were applied before either was fully dry but you can see the safflower white being a lot slower in drying has gone through dimensional changes after this top layer of colour has dried, creating many more cracks. In fact, in some cases, on top of the linseed white, it hasn't cracked at all, whereas in fact, on top of the safflower white, it's cracked in all the colours. So in summary, the three basic oil painting rules, fat over lean, thick over thin, and slow drying over fast, are all about making each subsequent layer in your oil painting slower drying than the previous layer. So all you need to do when you're painting in oils is keep in your mind you need to make each subsequent layer slower drying than the previous one. And that way you'll cause yourself no problems at all.